So we're here at the LA River. I am going to be frying up some of the carp that we had caught this morning. So there are a lot of things you can get snagged on here in the LA River. Shopping carts are really common, and these things get a really bad rap. People call them sewer salmon, Tijuana trout, gutter groupers, mud marlin, dumpster dolphin. I call them golden nuggets, because that's what they are to me, a precious gem. People ask me all the time, how in the heck do I fish in the LA River amongst all that trash and the smell and the dirty water? To me, the LA River is what it is. I, I can't imagine not fishing here with the trash. Can't imagine catching carp without, you know, the graffiti on the walls or the shopping cart next to me. And that's that's the LA River for you. That's its, that's its signature. Hi, my name is Lino Jubilato, and I am an LA River fly angler. For most folks who just see the LA River by a glance, either driving by on the freeway or the overpass, they just think it's an eyesore. I think they don't put any thought into it other than it being a sewer. Despite all of the trash you see here, you know, there's a lot of natural sections to the LA River where wildlife thrive. The fish thrive. We got bass, carp, catfish, um, bluegill, they all thrive in this river. It's just a really, really cool place to get away, right in the middle of Los Angeles. Someone else's trash is someone else's treasure. This is my treasure. <laughs> I've been fishing the LA River for probably go close to 40 years now. You know, I've been coming here since I was a little kid. You know, we used to have to climb through a fence to fish down here, and my grandpa wouldn't let me release anything, including the carp. It's always an interesting way of fishing when you're fishing in a concrete jungle. I grew up eating fish, and uh, I've got a strong stomach, so the LA River doesn't scare me. <laughs> Carp are funny looking fish. I mean, let's not lie. They have little whiskers. Their mouth is not exactly on the straight end. You know, the fish can be eaten. You just not, you know, in moderation, obviously. You don't want to be eating this every day. I know a lot of folks that really swear by these fish, and I have to say that the texture of the fish is great. I have the whole place to myself. I'm gonna sneak on over here and see if I can catch one. Not gonna lie, the water is dirty, but um, smells like, like a methane gas, because when you step in this water, that gas will come up and it just, it will hit you really hard right here. <laughs> it's just like that rotten egg kind of smell. Um, I've been coming to the river for so long that uh, I don't even smell it anymore. We're right next to the five freeway here and but look how nice it is here, it's so therapeutic. So as soon as that fish bites my line, I'll set the hook. Yep, they're jumping. Just gotta get one to find my fly here. Woo, look at this guy, <laughs> that's like a dolphin. <laughs> Dumpster dolphin. <laughs> what in the world did you eat? Who knows what they eat in here, it might be even a rat. Look at that. That thing is kind of weird. Whatever it is, it's moving. That might be a rat. <laughs> That's just not right. <laughs> All right, fish. Woo. We need something smaller. There's another one. <laughs> Come on. I've got a lot of shopping carts right here in front of me, so I'm trying to keep the rod high. That's a big one. Come here, gorgeous. Come here, beautiful. My gorgeous LA River nugget. Golden nugget. Oh, woo, he's a gorgeous one. Look at that. That is a beauty. Look at the colors on that thing. It is a beautiful, beautiful fish. So I think we're gonna hold on to this one. You don't want to eat the skin on these fish, that's for sure. We're going to be adventurous today and try this fish out. I would suggest eating a fish filleted. Look at that. These are, man, these are wicked. <laughs> Jeez. I am scaling this fish because the scales are so strong that it's so tough to fillet these things with the scales on. Oh, much better. There we go. Okay. There you go. Now this fish you could leave here for the raccoons. And it is legal to 
leave the scraps for the raccoons when you're cleaning on a river. What's kind of interesting to me is that the fish is, is a kind of a red color. See that? It's not a white, flaky fish. It's, it turns white when you cook it, I know that. There's your sashimi right there. I would never in a million years eat this thing raw. <laughs> it's easy to block out all the cars on the freeway, but if you just listen to the, you can hear the birds, you can hear the water flowing. Now it's easy to forget that you're here in LA. This uh, refrigerator worked out well as a cutting board. It's perfect. <laughs> Currently, I'm employed um, as a school nurse, uh, but my background is in social work. Now, I've done a lot of work with uh, the homeless population. A lot of them I would meet down here by the river. So I would do you know, social work therapy and also give injections, they're antipsychotics. Probably every overpass that we have here along the LA River has a homeless encampment just like this. You know, they have a lot of communities here, a lot of homeless communities here. And uh, I know that a lot of them do fish the river and catch carp and eat, eat them for dinner. I am going to make a, a beer battered fish that I usually do when I go camping. And I don't normally eat carp, but uh, my grandpa used to tell me that anything tastes good swimming in oil, so we're frying it up. I think most people think that the fish is not edible here just because it's coming out of the LA River, but um, it is, it, you, you can eat the fish out of here. I wouldn't uh, eat this every day, but I certainly would try eating it once a year, that's for sure. Wow, that looks amazing. This is my uh, beer battered, beer batter, panko battered uh, carp from the LA River. Let's give it a try. Mmm, it's nice and crunchy. Tastes just like fish sticks to me. So this is just the salt and peppered seasoned carp filet that we just caught this morning. It smells good, the texture's good. I don't know, it looks, looks delicious to me. Can't wait to try it. Let's try it. Yeah, that is delicious. If you would have slapped this in my face and not told me it was from the LA River, I could eat five plates of this easily. I would say to those of those folks out there who are really, you know, don't want to come to the LA River, just to give it a shot. It's more beautiful than you think. It's not a sewer. I mean, it's a river. It's not a flood control channel. It's a river. You know, it's a. It's just a beautiful piece of LA, which ha that has a lot of history. What people don't realize is that this river was a primary source of water for centuries. We had uh, some native, some Indians that used to live along the river bed in the early 1900s, 1930s or so, there was a huge flood, just a huge rainstorm, and um, it basically flooded everything and everything around it. It was at that moment when the uh, Army Corps of Engineers decided to encase the entire river with uh, concrete. And then it wasn't until the 80s, a gentleman by the name of Lewis McAdams kind of just cut some holes in the fence and said, it's not open to the public. I've lost track of how many folks I've actually brought down here to catch their first LA River carp on the fly. I've taken out a few a few stars. Jimmy Kimmel, I just brought him out here. Reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to bring you down here and uh, show you what the LA River is all about. You just have to get out here and give it a try. It's just, and you'll see how beautiful it actually is. It's just a really peaceful place to get away from it all. And it's so close, it's just right in the heart of LA. People think that I'm crazy fishing at the LA River for sure. My wife doesn't want to have anything to do with the LA River. She just thinks that the river is dirty and it disgusts her, really. I've got her out here once, and I think that's probably the last time she's gonna come out. I don't think I'm crazy at all. I think uh, everyone has something they're really, truly passionate about, and this just happens to be my thing. The LA River has, has been there for me through my hardest of times. I mean, it's definitely a, a refuge, a, a, you know, a sanctuary for me, basically. I just look forward to being on the water. Everyone needs a place like that, and I'm very, very blessed to be in a to live so close to this to this river. Well, I think I'm just obsessed. It's just an obsession of mine. I guess that could be a problem. My wife says so, at least. <laughs> no, I I don't know what it is. You know, I'm addicted to coming out to the river. It, it really is. I, I think about it all the time.
Carp are really invasive to begin with, and so now they own this river. I used to come near, down here all the time to catch bass, but now the carp have taken over, which is fine by me. They're a lot more fun to catch.